This is a compilation of maps of the United States. And this first one is actually the founding of the United States, the states, the territories, how it goes. So you can see as they scroll through. The rest of these are maps uh, very different. <laughs> Gives you a good overall view of the United States in pretty much every category imaginable. Um, some maps are better than others. Some are animated like this. I'll give, just give a quick um, description of each one as we come across it. And then, you know, you can always pause it if you want to look more in depth too, but I don't want to make this a 20 minute video. You know, there's 30, I believe 29 or 30 of these maps. As far as links go, I'm going to put one link to where the majority of these maps came from. Um, other ones are just kind of collected from the internet as I was scrolling around here and there and don't really know where they came from. Some of them are harder to read than others, so I suggest full screen and HD if, if you can. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. So as we get closer to the regular United States as we know them now, I'll uh, hit up the next map here. I mean, this is one of the this is gonna be one of the harder ones to read here. This is cause of death that is not like cancer, or heart heart disease, or something like that. The most distinctive cause of death in each state. This one is a heat map as visualized by the distance to the nearest McDonald's. This is a heat map of night lights in the United States. This map here is ancestry by county um, that the majority of people uh, represent with. So you can see just by number of counties and like size, it's German, Germany. This is an Agenda 21 wet dream here. Uh, in green are places where there is, by the census data, no population at all. So the darker the green, the less amount of people. And this is mapping the freedom to marry, the progress in each state. And you can see the middle there, and Georgia, is giving, uh, giving resistance to anybody being able to marry anybody else. This one they could have chosen much better colors for. Uh, the darker the blue, the happier the person that identifies in that state. And then it goes from blue to green, which I, like I said, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania would be green. And then the Vermont mass would be the blue. Now, it's hard to see. But darker the blue, the happier the person. Highest paid public employee. You can see where America's priorities are. Two college presidents, two med school deans, <laughs> and then football coaches and basketball coaches. Congratulations. This is this is what's wrong with America in one one graph, in my opinion. This is an interesting gif about the growth of Walmart. You can see the year in the bottom right and how it just spreads like a like a virus all across the United States. Destroying towns and families and Making people a slave to the giant corporation. Ah, it's everywhere! It's everywhere! Stop it! What words do you use to address a group of two or more people? The red is you guys. Blue is you. Green is y'all. And then Florida is you all. Crazy old Florida. This here is the number of meth labs per county. From zero to a thousand on the scale. Wow. Wow. What brand is most associated by the people of that state? So what do they represent with most? I don't even know what Cars is for Alaska. Well, it's pretty pathetic that Verizon is New York and New Jersey. Not surprising, just pathetic. Top search trends. So as Google records everything that everybody does, you can break it down by state when you search their database. So in California, the number one search term is meat is murder in California. Somehow Oregon is Allah. Unicorn tattoo for Washington, really? People don't search for anything other. Like, nothing can beat unicorn tattoo in searches for what in, in Washington State. It's ridiculous. And then if you type into Google, why is Montana so, it'll automatically autocomplete cold. Why is... New Mexico so poor? Why is Utah so Mormon? 
Very interesting. And then what do the majority of people, where do they go to get their news? So Huffington Post, TMZ, ugh, TechCrunch, BuzzFeed, Mashable, Gawker, Slate, The Onion, Politico, and Salon. None of those tell the truth. This is the most visited counties map. So you can see with the, the interstate system, basically those counties get visited because of rest stops and exits off the highway, basically. And then you have the Northeast, Florida, Arizona, and Southern California are basically like the hot spots of where people go when they travel. This is 2015 hours at minimum wage needed to afford rent. So how many hours you would have to work at minimum wage for your rent to be 30% of your salary, 30% of all the money you make. As you can see, in New York and California, you have to work about 100 hours a week at minimum wage just to be able to afford your rent. And they say we're not slaves. Blue circles are more men. Red circles are more women. Single. Single men and single women. You can say L.A., Long Beach, Santa Ana has the most single men. New York, New Jersey has the most single women. This is just a size comparison here. The United States and then, you know, Philippines, the islands down there. And then this is a size comparison. Canada, <laughs> dumbass, Alaska to the continental United States. You can say New York to Orlando is the same distance as Barrow to Juneau. It really puts it in perspective how big Alaska is. This is the amount of snow needed to cancel school. So any snow would be the darker green, and then it works up to a bunch of snow <laughs> when you get to the darker blue. This here is an animated map. Uh, U.S. cities by population by decade, starting from 1790. You see the date in the upper left, the actual population of the cities and where they are on the map. Here is Tornado Tracks, uh, 56 years of Tornado Tracks by their, their scale there. How possible is it to climb the income ladder? So the counties with blue and green, up to 35% of the people who were ranked in the bottom fifth when they were born or when they were a child rose out of it. So if you're in the South... Basically anywhere, but if you're in the South, good luck getting out of your poverty. This is how economic activity is broken down. So in the orange is 50% of the economic activity, and in the blue is 50% of the economic activity. And then no map would be complete without mentioning weed. So here you go, price of an ounce of weed in each state. And where it's legalized, it's cheaper, but not, not really that much cheaper. Not really. And I can I can attest that that three forty one in New York is not for good stuff. <laughs>